What's up, you guys? I am currently at my OB appointment. It's a little room. I'm very nervous. Wish me luck. I also got a solid smiley today on my ovulation test, which I will plug into this video. Wish me luck with this appointment. I'm excited. Waiting to hear from the donor as well. So let's see what the doctor talks about. So describe to me what home home insemination means to you. Um, we just take a syringe, a needleless syringe, and needle? we, a needleless syringe. Needleless syringe. syringe. I was yeah, like, it's like no, not a needle. How mm -mm. do you get the sperm? No, we have a donor. Okay. We have a donor. He, he gives you live sample. Yeah, okay. live sample. Like um, so. No, you said you're not sure if you're ovulating. What are you using to find out if you're ovulating? Um, well, I normally take little strippies. I used uh, cheap strippies that I ordered from Amazon. Mm -hmm. I used Dollar Tree strippies. Um, and then my wife was just like, you know what? We're just going to go and buy these or whatever. So one, two, three, almost four. One, two, three. So your cycles are very regular. That's good. So a, a good sign that you're ovulating is if your cycles are regular, which they are. They're about every 28 to 30 days, which is normal. Do you get it? So this is a very good indication if you're ovulating. So you are most likely ovulate between 24 and 48 hours after this turns what it does. Okay. So can you do an insemination tonight and then also um, not tomorrow night, but the next night? Yes. So tonight would be Monday night and Wednesday night? Yes. Okay. That's what I would do. I would do one tonight, do one Wednesday night. Is it night? Okay. Oh. Yeah. If you can do one tonight and then do one on Wednesday night, that will be good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. So when do we think your next period is going to start? The next period is February. February 6th. Okay. So let's have you come in on the... Let's have you come in on Tuesday... The 30th and let's do a blood test so to see if you've ovulated we can do a blood test to prove that your ovulation predictor kit was correct and so that we have to be done seven to ten days before your next scheduled period okay. so let's do next um let's do monday or tuesday either the 29th or the 30th we'll do okay. a blood draw for you it can be here or from anywhere else okay okay if his sperm is amazing your fallopian yeah. tubes are open we know you're ovulating you're yeah. testing positive we prove you're ovulating based on yeah. the lab you guys inseminated exactly the right yeah. time guess what the chance of your pregnancy is that's like one two twenty percent okay so if everything is perfect the chance it's of all you about getting time pregnant is only time. twenty percent do the same thing like you're doing with the diva cup leave that in after to kind of keep that sperm there um and then keep doing the urine predictor kits if your urine predictor kit is right yeah. You're going to test positive when I do that blood test. If that confirms it, we don't have to keep testing with the blood test because okay. you are ovulating. Okay. Signs of ovulation are regular cyclic menses, which is what you're having every 20 to 30 days. That's what it's been since you've been tracking yeah. it. And then the fact that you get those symptoms before you get your period, those moody, you know, moody bloating, yeah. I feel kind of ucky, crampy, that's all normal. That's all good showing signs okay. that you've ovulated. Um, I've been sure it's going to be hard to interpret. So that's why if we're confirming it with looking in your urine, we can do that. I mean, other things we can do too. We can have you come in every month to do ultrasounds to follow your ovaries and see what's happening. But this is much cheaper for you to just okay. be doing this on your own rather than coming in every month to do serial scans because you yeah. get charged for an ultrasound every time. Yeah. But if we need to do that, we can. Okay. But let's see what this month. Those ones are usually the best to understand. The ones with the smiley faces. Yeah. The other ones are hard for patients to read because it's like, oh, is this is this line close to the other one? Is it more? It's hard. Yeah. Even I have a hard time deciding yeah. when I'm ovulating based on those. But those are usually the easiest to read. Okay. So let's just see what your blood test shows this month, and then if you don't get pregnant ne next month, let's make another visit right after your period would start next month. Okay. Okay. So if you get your period next month, still come and see me because then we'll talk okay. about everything. If you don't get your period, then you take a pregnancy test. Okay. Okay. Hey, you guys. Um, so the doctor appointment with the OBGYN went great. Um, she went over a lot of things during this preconception visit. Um, turns out between tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and Wednesday is like my most fertile days today at 5 30 a.m i received a blank solid 
circle, which means I didn't have a surge. And then I tested again before my doctor's appointment at around 9.40, 9.38am. And sure enough, I had a solid happy face, smiley face. So I am having a surge. Then I went to my doctor appointment and she told me between today tomorrow and wednesday are the best days for me to inseminate it would be nice if i could inseminate tonight and then wednesday but if not inseminate wednesday and for sure thursday and keep testing as well and she set me up for um i have to go back next week tuesday for blood test for blood test um and she just came out with a, a real good plan on things we're gonna try and do to see if we can conceive and then um we're gonna she said if i don't get pregnant this cycle we're gonna try a couple other things going forward like we're going to do more ultrasounds, um, but we're going to go into that. So next week is the blood test. And then on, then a week from there, I come back in to take a pregnancy test to see if I'm pregnant. If my period starts, if it doesn't start, then she would do an ultrasound or some more blood work to confirm a positive pregnancy. So, it's so exciting. Well, and I'm just going to put it like this. She handled me with care and I loved it. She was there to answer all my questions. She didn't look at me weird because I told her we had a donor. She didn't judge me. And her body language and her facial you know, facial emotions, expressions did not tell me that she was judging me. Or my wife so it was awesome she just reassured me it's gonna be okay um, trying in it trying to conceive the natural way or through artificial insemination is only like a 20% chance of conceiving without you know having to go to a fertility doctor and things like that I really like her you guys I really like her and I don't know. Until next video, you guys. Stay blended.